Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. Welcome to the second part of our custom image slider video. In the previous video, we had designed this uh, image slider over here. Now, in this video, we will add JavaScript to make it work. So, let's get started. I have already created the main.js file in the previous video and we have also added our script link over here. Now let's go to our main.js file and first of all let's reference some elements. So first of all we'll type const. Now we need to access the slide images, the previous button and the next button. So first of all we'll type const slide images and we'll set it equal to document dot query selector all because we'll be having multiple images and we'll type slide image. So this will store all our slide images inside this variable. Now next we need to have the previous button so we'll type prev button and we'll set it to document dot query selector prev button and then we need the next button all right that's it with all the elements we need now we need to maintain two variables one is the number of images and the other is the current image so we'll create a constant and we'll name it number of images and if you want to see how many images we have in our slider then we have to check how many elements we have in this constant slide images so for that we can just type slide images dot length and it will return the number of images and then we also need to maintain a variable called current image so we'll type current image and we'll set it to zero for now so this variable current image will uh, determine which of the slide images is active right now so when we start with our slider we'll just set the first image as the active image so we'll just remove this active class from here and we'll add it over here so now we can see that the first slide image is active now first of all let's code the functionality for the next button so we'll just add a comment next button and here we'll type next button dot add event listener and for the click event we want to execute the following code so first of all we need to increment the current image so we'll type current image plus plus so this will increment the current image by one and then we need to update the active class so we'll create a function called update active class so let's create a function Now what we'll do over here is that we will remove the active class from the current active element and then we'll add the active class to the updated current image. So first of all we need to get the current active slide. So we'll create a constant and we'll type current active slide and we'll set it equal to document dot query selector and here we'll type dot slide image dot active. So this will return the element with the classes active and slide image. Now we need to remove the active class from this uh, element. So we'll type current active slide dot class list dot remove and we'll type active. Now the active class will be removed from this current active slide. Now we want to add the active class to the updated slide image. So we'll type slide images and in square brackets we'll type current image. So this will give us the current slide image and then we'll type class list dot add active. So let me explain to you once more what's going on over here. So first of all, we get the current active slide by checking which of the elements have the slide image and the active classes applied to it. And then we remove the active class from that element and add it to the next element. So here we are updating the current image variable and uh, right now it is zero. Now it will be set to one. And here we are setting the second slide image to active. Now let's go ahead and test it. So let's click on the next button. And we can see the next image is being displayed. Let's click on the next button once more. And we can see the next image is being displayed. Now we are on the last slide. And now if we click on the next button, we can see that nothing is being displayed. And if we go to inspect, we have an error over here. So it says that cannot read property class list of undefined so we have to check that over here as well in the next button 
So what we'll do is after incrementing the current image, we'll just tap if current image is greater than number of images minus one. So this will check whether the current image is the last image. And if it is so, then we have to set the current image to zero. So let's test it once more. We'll click on the next button. We have the next image and we'll click on the next button once more. And we have the next image. Now here we are on the last slide. Let's click on the next button once more and we get back to the first image. So the next button is working all right. Now let's code the previous button. Now the previous button is almost the same as the next button. So we'll just copy this code from here and we'll paste it over here. And uh, let me just update the comment. And uh, instead of next button, we'll type previous button. And instead of adding, we will just decrement. And uh, instead of checking whether it is the last element, we will check whether it is the first one. So here we will type if the current image is less than zero, then we have to set the current image to number of images minus one, which is the last image. And then we have the update active class function over here. So now let's test whether the previous button works. And we can see that we go to the previous images over here and uh, we can also go to the next image. So both these buttons are working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is automate this slider. So we'll change the images every five seconds. So let's create a comment and we'll type automate slider. Now we can use a function in JavaScript called set interval. So using that function, we can execute a code in multiple intervals of time. So let's type set interval. And here we can have two arguments. One is the function that we want to execute. And the next is the timing. So we'll create a function called automate slide. And we'll just set the interval as 5000. So this is represented in milliseconds. So this means five seconds. All right, so let's create the function automate slide. And here we'll have the same code as the next button. Now we can just copy these lines of code from the next button and we can paste it in our automate slide function. Now, if you want to make this code even better, then you can create a separate function and copy this code over there and then call that function over here so that we don't have any duplication of code. But we have just three to four lines of code, so I'll just leave it as it is. And we can see that the images are being changed after every five seconds. And we also have the next and the previous buttons working. All right, that's it with the JavaScript of our image slider. Now let's copy this code to our blogger website. All right, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. So let's edit one of these posts. And we'll paste our slider after the introduction. So here, after the introduction, we'll just copy the slider container division from here and we'll paste it over here. And since we don't have the images directory in our uh, blogger website, we'll just delete this line of code and we'll upload the image using this button called insert image. Now you can upload your images right here using this button. So here are all our three images. Let's select all of these and click on open. Now let's select the first image and click on add selected and we'll set the image alignment as none and image size as original size and we'll click on OK. And we'll do that with all the three images. So let's delete this line of code and insert image and then select the next image and click on add selected and then click on OK. And lastly, the third image. All right, we are done with inserting the images. Now let's click on update. Now let's add the CSS and the JavaScript of our slider. So let's go to theme and click on customize. And then click on advanced and then go to 
add CSS and here we'll paste our CSS so let's go to our code editor and we'll copy all our CSS from this line and we'll paste it right here and then click on apply to blog and then click on back to blogger now let's add the JavaScript so let's click on edit HTML and we'll scroll down to where all our JavaScript is written and here is all our JavaScript code if you don't have any JavaScript then you can paste your JavaScript just before the body ends inside a script tag alright so here we will add a comment and let's copy our JavaScript code from the code editor so let's go to main.js and copy this whole JavaScript code from here and we'll paste it right here and then click on save theme and we have an error on line 5012 so let's see what that error is so here we have this less than symbol and XML cannot parse it so we have to write that in a format that XML understands so for that you have to type ampersand LT semicolon so whenever you see this kind of error you have to change the symbol to an XML readable format alright so let's click on save theme again and we can see that now we don't have any error so let's go to posts and uh, open our review post and uh, here we can see our image slider and it is working alright we can see that the next and the previous buttons are working as well Alright, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.